One of the most interesting characters in Dragon Ball Super to me has definitely been Zamasu, and the reason why it's Zamasu is because we don't know very much about him. What we do know about him is that he's the he's the apprentice of the current Kaioshin in Universe 10, and that he wants to eradicate all of the mortal humans, humanoid, of, uh, like whatever, and that basically in the future. He's teamed up with Black in order to be able to do that. But what we've learned about him in, in the latest episode of Dragon Ball Super is that he could have potentially used the Super Dragon Balls to wish himself to be immortal and also create a figure of Goku that wants essentially the same thing as Zamasu. In today's episode of Dra Dragon Ball Super Review, I'm going to be talking about ep episode 58 if I am correct and I know what, and I know what episode of Dragon Ball Super I'm watching. And what could be happening in the next episode? But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and be talking about the the, the the very last episode that was just released yesterday, from what I know of, because I only did see it just today. And the the website that I see it on comes out like every Sunday. But anyways, in the, in the first in the first minute or so of the of the latest episode of Dragon Ball Super, we see trunk we we see Trunks Goku and Vegeta all back into the past of uh, of what we know of now and they're all given senzu beans and, and of course they wake up for the senzu beans because the senzu beans, uh, senzu beans heal them and then they go ahead and start talking about that uh, Black, had, Black had achieved the, the Super Saiyan Rose transformation and that um, Zamasu is basically immortal and, and then after they start talking about how Zamasu is immortal and then black has a new super saiyan rose transformation um Whis, uh, beerus and then uh supreme kai or the supreme kaioshin then go to um the capital corporation where goku trunks vegeta balma and everyone else is at and then they go ahead and talk about the fact that um if you remember the guy that basically told balma everything that uh, everything that he knows about the Super Dragon Balls, basically what Zamasu did in that current timeline in the past, what he did was is that he, in, the, in uh, episode 57, he went to that guy's place, uh, he asked him to know everything that he knew about the Super Dragon Balls and how they work and how he can use them, and so basically Zamasu is looking to seek a new power, I feel like. He's searching to become a basically, a basically immortal now because he knows he's not stronger than Goku. But the only thing that he can do is find a greater power that Goku could not beat, and it is that of an immortal. Now we know how we potentially know how Goku Black was created. So essentially, uh, what Zenmasu did was that he used the Super Dragon Balls, excuse me, not, not, to not only make him immortal, but to also give him an apprentice of uh, of what Goku, uh, Son Goku, looked like essentially and uh, people have been theorizing that Zamasu um, could uh, could have potentially done this or done that but I don't know but what but what we do find out is that potentially um, the reason why uh, uh, Goku Black the first time we see him has the time rings potentially the reason why he does is because Zamasu could have potentially killed uh, the, uh, the Kaioshin in Universe 10, also known as Gawasu. And uh, my theory is, is that he does end up trying to eventually kill him, and I feel like he does somehow succeed. What, what he does is that basically he kills Gawasu, takes the Pataras that, uh, from that Gawasu had and stuff like that, he takes the Time Rings, and then he basically, what he does is that he uses the First Wish to... Uh, essentially, give him an apprentice that looks like uh, that looks and and has the power of Son Goku, and also be, become immortal because of the time rings. He doesn't have to wait a full year in order to essentially uh, make a wish. He, he can just go ahead and skip forward into the future, get his wishes, and then basically just do what he wants to proceed with. And what we do see at the end of episode 58 is that. Gawasu, uh, not Gawasu, I'm sorry, Zamasu does uh, does eventually kind of attempt to try to kill Gawasu right in front of Goku, Beerus, Whis, and the Supreme Kaioshin. And 
and what he does is that potentially he could have poisoned the tea because if you know uh, Gawasu is always asking Zamasu for tea and what he could have done is potentially probably poisoned the tea so that he could then kill Gawasu and then take the time rings and then take the Fataro that he had. Now is that absolutely confirmed? I don't know. It could, he, could he be trying to do that? Most likely. I do think he will end up eventually killing him, but not the way that people are thinking that he's going to be able to kill him. I don't think that he's going to uh, kill Gawasu through the T because I think he's going to eventually uh, uh, catch on to Zamasu's game and then not end up drinking the tea. I think he will. Uh, I think he will end up uh, calling out Zamasu and being like, "Hey, you're trying to kill me and take the and take my time ring. That's fucked up, man." And then I think I think after he does do that, Zamasu is gonna then attempt to kill Gawasu, but then of course Goku and everybody else is gonna jump in and then eventually stop him. Now those are our predictions for the next episode for episode 59. But the thing is, is that we still don't know how, we still don't know how Zamasu from the future timeline knows of Son Goku. Because like I said, like the Universe 10 uh, Zamasu from the future somehow knows of, of Son Goku. But to me, like I said in, in the last review that I was talking about, that doesn't make any sense and that's a plot hole because there's no way that... Uh, he could know of Son Goku unless it, unless the one from the past went into the future. And it looks like I may have been right. It looks like that Zamasu uh, could have gone to Time Rings. He went into the future and then ended up doing all the stuff that he's been doing now. But who, but who knows if I'm right. I could be wrong potentially. But who knows. We're just going to have to wait until the next episode which is episode 59. And I did watch Geekdom, uh, Geekdom 101's video, his link will be in the description in case you guys aren't subscribed to him now, you guys should really subscribe to him because he's just an amazing uh, Dragon Ball YouTuber who makes all these, uh, he, he, he does a series, he did a series on his channel called Dragon Ball In Depth and he basically just goes in depth with Dragon Ball in general and you guys should just honestly go subscribe to him if you haven't already. But, nevertheless, in, in episode 59, uh, we will have to see what Zamasu will do to Guasu. I think he will eventually end up killing him, but I don't think it might go the way that we think it will. But next week, guys, we will not have an episode because of some reason I honestly can't remember off the top of my head. But in the next two weeks, we will ha we'll have the next episode of Dragon Ball Super. So uh, you guys should be ready, prepared for that when that happens because it is going to... It is going to involve a lot of storyline and a lot of uh, and a lot of plot holes for me at least. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up the video now. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. And if you guys want to see more Dragon Ball reviews on the channel, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see any of that. And yeah, peace.